Hi there, you're welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to take you through Koleski decomposition. So we are going to use the Koleski method to solve a system of what? Equations. In our previous lessons, I showed you how to identify a positive definite matrix. And once you identify that a matrix is positive definite, you can go ahead with Koleski decomposition because that is the only criteria. It should, the matrix should be what? A positive definite symmetric matrix, okay? So the goal is to decompose this using the Koleski method. Then after we use it to find the values of the unknown, x1, x2, x3, right? So if this is Kaklos family, if this is the first time you have been on this channel, kindly subscribe to support and please watch this video to the end. So looking at this matrix, is it a positive definite matrix? So let's just, to check, what do you have to do? So for the symmetric property, you know that a matrix is symmetric if the matrix is equal to eight transpose, right? So when I take the row 111, it should be equal to what? Eight column 111, exactly. When I take the row 155, it should be equal to the column 155 in that order. So this will satisfy the symmetric. Then what about a positive definite? So for the positive definite, I said we should use a determinant, right? So using the determinant, I'll have 111, 155, 1514. You take the determinant of the submatrices. So I'll start from the first submatrix, which is what? 1. So this is the first submatrix. This is it. So the determinant of 1 is equal to what? It's the same as itself, right? So it's greater than 0. So it satisfies. It's greater than 0. And I come to the second one, which is this and this. So the determinant of 1, 1, 1, 5 is giving me what? 5 multiplying what? 1 minus 1. And that is giving me what? 4, right? So this gives. 4 and 4 is greater than 0, so indeed it satisfies. Then the, finally, the determinant of the entire matrix. Determinant of the entire matrix, okay. So for that one, you're going to have 1, 1. So 1 multiplying what? When you cross, you are getting 14 by 5 minus 25 right here. Then minus 1 here. Then you short everything. So you're getting to get 14 by 1 minus 5. Then finally, plus 1. Multiplying here, you get 5 by 1 minus 5 by 1 minus 5. So here will be 0 plus here is 14 minus 5, and that is 9. Then minus this is what 14 by 5, which is equal to 70, right? So 14 by 5 here is 70 minus 25, right? So minus 25, you are getting 45 here. So 45 minus 9 is simply what 36, right? 36. So indeed, 36 is greater than zero. Therefore, our matrix here is positive definite. So we can go ahead using the deco um, Koleski decomposition, okay? So with the Koleski decomposition, the algorithm is that we want to convert our positive definite matrix into a form A is equal to H, H, T. This H is similar to, or is analogous to the L form in the L decomposition, and the A, T is analogous to what? The U form of the LD decomposition. So this is obviously a lower triangular matrix and the AT is obviously an upper triangular matrix, right? So we just represent the H with what? So the H is what? A strictly lower triangular matrix. So I'll start with H11, 0, 0. H21, H220, H31, H32, H33. Yes. Then obviously I take the transpose of this and i'll have h11 h21 h31 i'll have that is for the first column i'm making it the row wise then i'll have 0 h22 h32 then i'll have what 0 0 h33 so this becomes my koleski decomposition this is very very short so you just have to find this then you transpose it you get the other now, once you have found this, it means that you have only broken the matrix into what? Into your HHT form. But to solve the system above, you remember from LE decomposition, to solve, we need two equations. LZ is equal to B, then what? UX is equal to Z, right? So now, it's the same thing here. So you have HZ is equal to B. And here you get HT, which is your transpose X is equal to what? Z. That's all. We still use the same principle here. So let's go back to the problem we have and let's decompose it and do 
the necessary. So I have the matrix here. Let it compose the matrix A. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 5, 5, 1, 5, 14. So this, decomposing this. So this is the matrix back again, yes. And 14. So if you want to decompose this, as I said, into the, uh, um, by the Koleski form, you simply write your H1100, H21, H220, H31, H32, H33, right? Then you go by H11, H21, H31. Then you have 0, H22, H32. Then you have 0, 0, H33. Theory like this. So by equality of matrices, as we did in the LU, you just expand everything. Then you find the corresponding entries. Okay. So I have this. As I said, if you are doing multiplication, this row will multiply each of the following columns, and that will give you the entries of the first row. So let's see. This row multiplied by the first column, I'll have H11 squared. Right. Let me take it up. So I'll have H11 squared. So H11 squared. The same row by the second column. I'll have H1121. Zero we'll multiply this, you get zero. We'll multiply 82. Zero, everything will be zero. The same row by the last column. I'll have H11, H31. And you are good to go, right? You are good to go. So when I come here, I'll have H21. This row. It's now also going to multiply each of the what, columns here. So H21 will multiply H11, H21, H11. Here will multiply it to be 0. When I come to the second side, I'll have H21. H, so it will be H21 squared. Okay, H21, H21 is H21 squared. Then plus H22, H22, so H22 squared. Then finally, the same row by the last column. I'll have H21, H31 plus H22, H32, right? Then we move to the last row, each column. Last row, I'll have H31, H11. Then this will multiply the second row. I'll have H31, H21. Then I'll have H32 multiply H22, H32, H22. And that is this multiplying this. Then finally, the same row multiplying the last column. I'll have H31 squared plus H32 squared plus H33 squared, right? So I'm done with my expansion. I simply do what? The equality. So to equate the various terms, I'll have 1. So I'll have 1 is equal to H11 squared. So therefore, my H11 is equal to 1. Then I'll have this one again equal to this. So 1 is equal to, so let me circle my solution. So I'll have 1 is equal to H11, H21, right? I forgot the H. So H11, H21 is, this will be, I know H11 to be 1, so I'll put 1 here. So my H21 is equal to what? 1, right? So I also circle that. H21 is 1. Then I come to my third one. So I have H11, H31 is equal to what? That's also 1 here. So I have 1. Then I'll just simply solve because H11 is 1. Therefore, H31 is also equal to 1. And that will be my third entry. Right. Then, so as I said, this one we are only looking out for um, this entry H11, H21, H22. So I, I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? I need 6 entries, only 6 entries. Then I'll just transpose the rest, only 6. So I've got the first three. Then I'll come to the second row. I, I know H21, right? I know H11. So we just ignore this one. You just ignore this one, right? Then you come to this side. You come to the middle one. I don't know H22. I know H21. So I write 
H21. So I write H21 squared plus H22 squared is equal to what? 5, right? 5. So from here, I know that H21 is 1. So my H22 squared is equal to 5 minus 1. So my H22 is simply equal to the square root of what? 4. And this will be plus or minus 2. So from positive definiteness, this should be positive. So you get plus or 2, right? So meaning that our H22, let me write it here h22 is equal to 2 and that will be our fourth entry right so now let's see this is the fifth one right for the fifth one i know h21 i know h31 i know h2 meaning i don't know h32 so i need to use this to find for so h21 h31 plus h22 h32 should give me what five right should give me five so once I get that H21 here, I'm going to get um, H21. So H1 is 1, right? So 1 by 1 plus H22, H32 is equal to 5. So from here, I know H22 to be 2, 2, right? So 2 H32 is equal to 4. It's equal to 4. Therefore, H32 is equal to what? 2, right? H32 is equal to 2. Then I circle like this so once i have this the next thing is i i have got one two three four five i know h32 so i'm only left with what h33 right and we can get that from what this equation you can get that from this right you can get that from this so we don't need to solve for all we just need some particular ones okay some particular ones so once i have this I need the last equation, which is h31 squared plus h32 squared plus h33 squared, right? This should be equal to what? Should be equal to, when I come, it's 14. It's 14. So it should be equal to 14. I know h31. h31 is 1. So it's 1 squared. h32 is 2. 2 squared plus h33 squared is equal to 14, right? So from here, I'm going to have um, 3, so 1 plus 4, which is 5. So H33 squared is equal to 14 minus 5. So H33 is equal to, this will give us 9, right? So square root of 9. And once again, plus or minus 3, but we take the positive 3. So H33 is equal to positive 3. So we just circle this, and this becomes our last entry. So you realize that we solve particular ones, right? You just have to solve for only this this and this you come to this you come to this you come to that and after you just jump here and you are done okay yeah so from here that is how we deduce some algorithm for it some algorithm for it okay so you let me write the entries here so i have h11 is 1 h21 is 1 h31 is 1 then i have h22 is 2 h32 h2 h33 is what's there right so once i have this once i have this then i can go ahead so so generally so generally we say that to find your <coughs> generally to find your let's say h i k but you i don't confuse here you let's go straight and solve for we do this so at this point i'm writing the lu form and the lu form in the Koleski decomposition i only need my h and what h what transpose right so that will give me what h11 i write them again before i make substitution h21 h220 h31 h32 h33 then I multiply this by the transpose, which is H11, H22, H31. Sorry, H21. Then here becomes, so this becomes um, 0, H22, H32, 0, 0, H33. So meaning that once I get this matrix, I can do this. So looking at the values here, my H11 is what? 1, 0, 0. H21 is 1. H22 is 2, 
here is 0. I have H01 to be what? 1. H32 to be 2. H33, H3. That's all. I multiply it by a transpose. And the transpose is simply 1, 1, 1. Then I have 0, 2, 2. Then I have 0, 0, 3. Right. So I'm done decomposing this to the HHT form. So I move straight to finding the system of our equation, the solution. So I have HZ is equal to what B, right? HZ equals B. So what's my H? My H is simply 1, 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3. Multiplying an unknown Z, Z1, C2, C3 should be equal to the B given in the question. And the B given in the question was 3, 11, 20, right? 3, 11, 20 from the beginning here, 3, 11, 20. So you just make that substitution here. So you have 3, 11, 20, okay? So this, at this point, using the forward substitution, I can find Z1 to be equal to 3. That is 1 times Z1, everything is 0, so 3. So the next one is this. You find this, right? So you find 1Z, so Z1 plus 2Z2, right? Z1 plus 2Z2. Then the 0 multiply this, so to go away, it should give us 3. It should give us 11 instead. So what is Z1? Our Z1 is 3 plus 2Z2 is equal to 11, right? So 2Z2 is equal to 8, and our Z2 is equal to 4. Finally, we get Z1 plus 2Z2 plus 3Z3 is equal to what? 20. That's for the last one. I know Z1, 3. I know Z2 to be 4. So 2 times 4, 8. Plus 3Z3 is equal to 20. 3 plus 1 is what? 3 plus 8 is 11. So 3Z3 is equal to 20 minus 11, giving us what? 9. Okay. So our Z3 is obviously equal to what? 3. So now we've got the values for Z, which is Z1, Z2, Z3. And each of the components here is equal to 3. Z2 is 4. And this is what? 3 as well. Then finally, I use the HT, right? Multiplying X is equal to what? The Z. So I just write my HT here. And the HT is 1, 1, 1, 0, 2, 2, 0, 0, 3. Multiplying the X, 1, X2, X3 should give us the values of what? The Z, which is 3, 4, 3. And at this point, we're going to use the backward substitution to solve this. So using the backward substitution, 3 times X3 will be equal to 3. Therefore, X is equal to what? 1, right? Then you move to the second one. You have 2X2 plus 2X3 is equal to 4. I know X1 to be 1, so I have 2 multiplying 1. So I know X3 instead. So this x3 plus 2x2 is equal to 4. So 2x2 is equal to what? 4 minus 2 is 2. So x2 is also equal to 1, right? Then finally, I'll have x1 plus x2 plus x3 is equal to a 3. And I know each of these are 1, so I'll get x3 to be equal to 3 minus what? 2, which is 1. So now we are getting all the values x1, x2, x3 to be equal to 1, 1, 1. And that is how we use Koleski algorithm to find for a system, the unknowns in the systems of equation. Thank you for being with me in this video. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.